Hey and welcome to this new video where we are going to talk about transforming optional values. So let's begin by taking a look at an actual piece of code that we are going to go over line by line. So first, you can see I have a variable called date and it's an optional value because whether it will contain an actual date or nil is going to be different for each execution depending on the result of the call to bool.random. Then on the second line, you can see that we have a date formatter and finally, on the third line, we have a UI label. So by seeing these three variables, we get some kind of idea of what we want to achieve. We want to take the optional date format it into a string and then display it on the label. And that's exactly what we are doing just a few lines below. You can see that we are calling the function string on the formatter. And if you are familiar with a date formatter, you know that date formatters, they don't take optional dates as their argument, they take actual dates. So we need to unwrap the optional and in order to do it safely, we do it using the standard way in Swift. So we write an if let and this way we are able to say if there is an actual value in the optional, we want to format the date and then display it into the label. So this is perfectly good Swift and it works as expected. However, when you write this kind of code, you see that you need to introduce an if statement, you need to introduce an extra identifier, this save date here, and you might be thinking, is there a way to do it with less code? And actually there is one and it's by using the function map. Now, you're probably already familiar with map in Swift by using it on an array, but as it turns out, you can also use map on an optional. And it might feel a little weird because basically we think of map as a function that we call on a collection, but you can think of optional as a special collection that can hold either zero or one value. And when you think about it this way, using map on an optional makes total sense. So let's see how we can do it. So first I'm going to use my optional value, which is date. And then on date, I'm going to call map. And you can see that there is indeed a function map defined on optional in the standard library. Now it works just as the map of an array, meaning that it will take a transform closure. And the way that it works is that if there is no value in the optional, map will just return nil. And if there is an actual value, then map will call the transform closure and return the result of the transform. So we are going to give it a transform closure. And inside the transform, we are just going to use our formatter and call the function string from date. So this way I am now able to transform the optional date. And now I can just use the result of this call to map. And as you can expect, I'm going to do so by affecting the text property on my UI label. And that's it. Now I've been able to transform an optional value without needing to write an if statement and introducing a new identifier. Thank you.